Yeah, hi viewers. In this video, we will learn that uh, how to install the Docker or a guest container on the Cisco ISO XE router. Sometimes you need to have the edge computing devices for your network automation skills. Right, if you have the network uh, automation in your environment, you need the Python installed, the bare metal server or something like that which can automate your scripts which can automate your network you can have the, some scripts which can automate your network so first of all we need to know the what the gas shell is basically the gas shell or the linux container is nothing a simple centos container or the centos machine with the pre-installed python in it so if you have the iOS XZ device running the 16.6 .6 or a later version or a higher version so you do not need to install your own container or KVM virtual machine for your network automation like what the difference is here like uh, if you want to install the CentOS machine on the dedicated server with the pre-installed Python and you have to write down your network automations like if you want to have the uh, daily backups of your machines and the error reporting and the network analytics reporting is all you need to have the dedicated server or the virtual machine with the CentOS but if you have the 16.6.1 or a higher Cisco IOS XZ device that has the Linux operating gas shell which can perform this task for you but we have the one question is here that it can interrupt or disrupt the running iOS XZ environment or the routing capability no it would not because like if you know about the docker containers which have the multiple applications on the single operating system and does not set, uh, interact with each other and they have the separate platform so like this this uh, gas shell has the docker container in the ios xe and do not interfere with the ios uh, environment in the router it has the reserved resources like the cpu and the ram and the memory in the ios xe environment so moving towards the our actual lab environment where we can learn that what and how we can enable the gas shell in the iOS XZ environment and how we can set up the iOS uh, the gas shell or the Linux container before we need to know the IOX framework here IOX framework is the lifecycle management in the iOS XZ router which includes the distribution deployment hosting and some other services uh, for the apps and data within your IXE environment so now we will move towards our lab actual environment so I have set up the uh, lab environment in which you have if you are doing uh, on your own then you need to have the iOS XZ router or a switch or a gateway which have the 16.6 .6 or a higher version iOS so let's start our lab the first step is to enable the IOX framework on the Cisco IOX XE router. So without enabling the IOX, you cannot enable the gas shell on the Cisco IOX XE router. So here is the simple step. First of all, we need to log in our router, Cisco IOX XE router, which having the version 16.6 .6 or the later. I can show you here it has the version 16.9 so it means it has the later version so I can enable the cache or the Linux container on this IOS XE router so here is a simple step we have to config the IOX now need to verify the IOX services So you can see that this service has been enabled with the infrastructure version 1.7. Now it has the resource virtualization limits, the system CPU quota available here and the memory in the boot flash. So it means it does not interfere with the Cisco ISO XZ router having the application, the host application. You must have to verify that these three services 
just without service HA. These other three service must be enabled to have the enable IOX. So our next step is to enable the Linux container or the gas shell. So in this step to enabling gas shell, first step is network setting of the host. In the network setting of the host, we will define the virtual port group 0. This virtual port group 0 defines and enables the communication between the gas shell or the Linux container or between the iOS XG router. So we have set up these commands. We have defined the IP. Now in the setting in the second steps we will define the network settings of the container. So we have defined if you can see here the IP address 1.2 for the same broadcast domain which have the virtual port group 0 so this container can communicate towards outside this private domain so it can communicate with other devices it has the network mask gateway and the DNS service so we will enable the network setting of the container just put these commands on your Cisco ISO XE router so we have defined the virtual port group 0 and the IP setting of the, of the Linux container so this Linux container needs to communicate to the outside domain. So we have to perform the IP netting. If you have the concept of the IP netting here in this case, virtual port group zero is the my inside network interface for the Linux container and the interface gigabit ethernet one is the my XZ router interface, which have the public gateway. So I have set up these commands for my netting. If you can see that my interface is virtual port group zero is inside and the gigabit one outside and define the access list means that I, the only Linux container IP pool can go to the outside domain in the net dash ACL. So here in the last command, if you can see that we have mentioned the IP net rule. So we will apply this setting on our XC router. So everything has been set up for this Linux container. Now it's time to set up or enable the gas shell. So now we have enabled the gas shell means we have enabled the Linux container or the CentOS machine having the pre-installed Python in it. So we will verify that uh, we have enabled the gas shell. So finally, now you have status should be running and the app ID is the gas shell and the owner is the IOX framework. So you have seen that it has the memory disk and CPU, which is the separated uh, and the Docker container like have. So it does not interfere with the IOS XE router. If you can see this Linux container has the ether zero IPv4 address, which have we installed while configuring the Linux container on 1.2. So finally, we have set up the Linux container with all these settings now the third and the final step is using the gas shell inside the gas shell container you get similar experience as you would interact with any centos machines we have the similar commands in this gas shell so we will check out these commands first to login in the gas shell now you are in the gas shell so the simple command whom who am I so this tells you that you are the gas shell pwd which is the centos command print working directory it shows you that you are in the gas shell now you have gone through some of the familiar commands of the centos environment by using this gas shell of the Cinto of the Cisco IOS XE router or the switch. So in this video you have 
learn that how to set up and enable the gas shell by using the Cisco IFXE device specifically so in the in the next part of this video series we will learn that how to write some python scripts for the network automation tasks so if you have any comments or queries or you want uh, this script you can comment us thank you for watching this video bye